All right. Find Hartman in the Bright Falls AWE area. Uh, let me... Oh, I got teleported away from where we were. Okay, so we gotta we gotta go back to the active investigation areas. I really wish I could just click on these. This would be so much faster for me. Um, hmm. What would be the fastest way there? Maybe from Morrow AWE entrance and then jump down. Oh, damn it! That's that's the other like all the uh, all it's every single entrance into that area is a fucking elevator. Son of a bitch. We'll see how this goes, and then uh, obviously tomorrow we'll do Island Wake 2. I know it unlocks in like nine hours, eight and a half hours, but we're not, we're not playing it tonight. <laughs> Plus, there's no preloading, so we're gonna have to download it tomorrow morning, but uh, I think I'll do a long stream tomorrow. As long as I can wake up at a decent hour. Yeah. All right, Hartman. What have you been doing? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. Okay. Yeah, well, let's we'll look at that uh, more closely, get the full thing. Between me last playing and now, I've actually learned that Alan Wake American Nightmare is actually still canon as said by the fucking by sam lake himself um so that's awkward <laughs> if i had known that uh, american nightmare was canon i would have played that too before alan wake 2 releases but now we just don't have time so we're just gonna keep you going i've written and rewritten deconstructed reconstructed Experimented with different voices. Changed the style, changed myself. Forgotten the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? Gone down this path before? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages. You probably should. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress, recap, then write more. The style then, lose the fat, make it clear, ugly, functional, present, be blunt, only the brutal truth, cut through the reality, tear it apart, rewrite it, be clever, make them do the work, form the image in their minds, they make it, you just imply, incept. They're drawn to the mystery, obsessed, you set it up, they put it together, their interpretation, and there's only one because you give them no choice. And they believe in it because it's theirs now. I guess this isn't really what uh, he's writing down, the, the things that we've been getting from Alan. Some of them have been, but I think that last one was just his inner thoughts. Leaking through, you know, time and space. Or realities, or whatever we're doing here. What all is this gonna do for you, Alan? Whoa. Stuck. 
Let's go take care of it. I think I'm supposed to actually get out of this. I can't fucking see it here. Ugh. Also, I I I got rid of that like 900 plus shaded facet that I have just so it looks in, in nicer in the inventory here. It was bothering me anytime we would like open up and I'd see that the fakeness. Armin, is this your darkness goop laying here? Is that, or is it blood? Ooh, it's like darkness goop. Thank you for meeting with us again, Dr. Armin. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I've provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I... To consider myself a keen observer of We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you, in fact, encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but... I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they say. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offenses. What? You can't do this? I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. Offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Hey, to be fair, you are still getting... Giving them that information. They're just going to be taking it by force. Let's get this fire break out of the way. Open up. I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. Alan? I forgot. Coming, Alan. Who's on their way? Dive. <laughs> but dive deeper into what, Alan? Deeper into the darkness? Deeper into the, your own mind? Clearly things aren't working out so well for him. He's starting to lose... Lose the picture. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. Yeah. Very, very clearly. Let me in, please. Please try and go forward room. Anybody? Hello? 
Is the TV running again? Oh, great. There's darkness inside of here, too, huh? Yeah, it just gets everywhere. Cooling itself around whatever it wants. It's lucky that Alan and Jesse aren't directly working together just yet. Oh. Alright, it's opening the doors one by one. I don't like this dark mass growing on the bed. We have to turn on lights in every room. Oh. Ooh. Turn on the projector. Oh, okay, turn it. Towards the darkness. Very good. Destroyed with the power of the FBC. Oh, the light doesn't make it all the way out of here. That's bullshit. Oh, keys! Aha! Thanks for the key. Going in bad. <laughs> Wake had to escape, right? His escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero? Needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. I mean, you've... You've got plenty of stuff like that here at the agency. What do you... The story needed many beginnings, many springs. Streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her, went berserk broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Ah, okay, that's Safe. good. The more springs, the more the story became real. The more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head. Going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. We created a Dada's poem. I try anything once. Or had he tried this before? <laughs> so he's just writing more and more about, uh. Hartman, yeah? Take me further in! I want to see what they're doing with this Brightfall AWE. What the fuck did we do? <laughs> what did my organization do? Another replica. Like the one they made for Ordinary. Is it a Bright Falls or is it a Cauldron Lake? What happened here? Director Faden here. Send backup to my location. 
Uh, hey, Ranger. You're not exactly who I was expecting. Hmm. Alice Wake interview. After reaching out to the Bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview. On blank 2017, see file blank for the full transcript. The interview conducted by Agent Shaw and Dempsey revealed that Mrs. Wake had, uh, has had reoccurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her New York apartment. Address blank. Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Mrs. Wake believes that he is haunting her, insisting he is not Alan, but a fucking monster in his body. Mrs. Wake has not been sleeping out of fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on through the night result in the relevant hallway's light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the blank. Further investigation required. We propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of supply request form L5014 have been sent to Mr. Kirkland and administration for approval. Well, ooh, hold on. I need to get a little, uh, I'll get a bit of my energy back because I think they want me to dive into the room. Is there an elevator over here? For us to ride down with my ranger? Come on, buddy. Yeah, that didn't help. All right. Hey! Hartman was stretched. You're right, Hartman. I don't know what my range is gonna do. He's gonna die, probably. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. Ugh. Ugh. Made it work. Ah, oh, the ranger just teleports around. Good for you, ranger. Don't go out there! This place is dangerous! Ranger! Oh, we have a light switch here or something. Nice! Defeat Hotman! Buddy, yeah, shoe while I'm shielding. Whoa, oh. oh, God damn. I might just die here, actually. Oh, shit. Okay, we're not ground diving. Mr. Hartman anymore. Ow! You son of a bitch. Here, we'll throw something bigger. Oh shit. He put up darkness! What did you mess up here, friend? Yeah, I don't think so. This isn't what I wanted. Ah, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God! I used the last bit of my power. <laughs> oh, yeah, just need a little bit of breather in the light. There. That's all I was trying to do. All right, Hartman, get away from my ranger. Let him go. He 
try to use my fucking... Whoa! He tried to use my ranger as a meat bag! A health pack! That was a big explosion you did there, Hartman. Ranger, you're fired. You got the last killing Hartman blow. Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. But investigations need someone to run it. Is that the whole DLC? Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong, a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown, there shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. So... <laughs> Clearly, this is an Alan Wake 2... ...further teaser. Considering that this was before they... Officially announced Alan Wake 2 game so is on its way. The, alarm. the effect must follow the cause. It's happening again. I'll return. You have been warned. Th Thanks, Alan. Uh oh. I'm dodging my instant kill attack! Whoa! Hey, you have a person. Yeah, okay, fine. Oh, whoops, you didn't see that happen, did you? Orb. Oh shit, it's a good thing I did that. There's too much fire coming in here. Uh-oh. That was a solid dodge. I was gonna fucking miss anyways, but I appreciate you cons considering it. I wonder if they treated him as badly. As a threat. Damn, look at all this fire over here. Uh. There you are. Keep it up, Ranger. Keep revealing where it is. I am not captured. I, yeah, I was fairly certain it wasn't going to have anything else after it. Okay, well, this Bright Falls AWE is a little disappointing, or rather, this AWE like recreation here. I guess this is supposed to be 
his lodge, like the front of his lodge. I was honestly expecting the entire damn lodge to be here. <laughs> to the point of like ridiculousness, like even maybe even bringing the entire thing in here. These are the notes of Dr. Emil Hartman. I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties Oops. are to recognize a golden opportunity. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. Though I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of bold pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had hoped Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together we could have produced art such that the world has never seen. But Wake was stubborn, egotistical. Writers usually are. Disappointing nonetheless. But now, like Tom before him, Wake has disappeared into Cauldron Lake. And this is where my work turns. Hypothetical. Since he was lost to the lake, Thomas Zane has been observed by various townspeople. This indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone. I anticipate Wake will similarly return one day. While I may harbor some resentment for the man, his raw talent and determination are undeniable. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark place within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Given my acute awareness of what awaits within, my meticulous preparations, and my considerable education, I believe myself much more prepared than either Tom or Wake. I should be able to cross into that dark realm with the chance to return as they have. All that remains is the dive itself. Uh... It frightens me, I admit, but such is the burden of the truth seeker. I will take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. It's time for a breakthrough. Until I return. I see. Okay, that 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 explains a lot. I, I had a little bit of a, a little confusion um, in terms of like having some of the information mixed up. Because originally, like an hour or two prior uh, in us playing this, the way it seemed was that like Hartman had been captured um by the darkness from the events of alan wake one because the last thing we see of hartman and alan wake one that i remember he might have like shown up in like the end credits that i and i didn't just rec recognize him in there because it wasn't it, was, it would have been a very brief shot um but the last shot we see of him that i had remembered in there was him like getting like we locked him in a room with like the darkness and then that's the last we see of him. And we just can assume that he, like, died or got, like, kind of, like, taken. Um, but no, he actually was totally fine, apparently, and went on to, like, talk to the FBC, fucking implicate himself heavily right in front of them. Um, be let go because they didn't consider him a threat. And then he, I guess, just threw himself into the lake. He said dive, so I'm assuming he like maybe actually had like a diving suit or 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 something proper. But ah, Hartman, what a what an idiot! But, wow, is that all it takes? Just dive into the lake and the darkness will go. Oh yeah, you want in? We got you. <laughs> Bright Falls, 1976 summary. Uh, an unconfirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake, WA. The citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southern west fields for the annual festival known as Deer Fest. Eyewitnesses all claimed that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of the area's weather reports, but then with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of the Anderson farm, and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. It was as if the day had turned to night. Testimony from Blank. Frank Breaker, the sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a bureau agent, see employee file Blank, managed to guide the crowd to safety as the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood. The festival was cancelled, ending one day early. 
Lack of official bureau presence on the scene makes this event difficult to report as a confirmed AWE, though the similarity to other known events in the Bright Falls area lend credence to the accounts of the townspeople. <laughs> what the fuck happened in 1976? Darkness just decided on a whim like, yeah, it's tornado time. <laughs> We're gonna do a wee little bit of trolling of the town. Maybe, maybe we'll see in Alan Wake too, maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that some of the shit that Alan Wake has been up to in the darkness has had profound effects in the timeline that we just aren't like fully aware of. Is that all that we got in here? Okay. Yeah, wow, that's a little disappointing. I really, <laughs> I took a break for the night and went to sleep thinking that that was, that we were gonna like, I, I thought we were gonna beat Hartman and then there would be more to the DLC. Sorry, son, you're just gonna have to use your teleporter to get up here. Right Falls, Washington. Don't touch. Whoops. I wonder if these are, <laughs> are these just straight up screenshots from Alan Wake? Slash, like, you know, the assets from Alan Wake one. Hmm. Triple D. The best cupcakes. Red Falls Sheriff's Station. Deer Fest. Ooh, I never looked at this. This is the, the lodge itself. All right. Well, with, uh... I don't, I guess we we make our way out of here. The only other stuff to do in this place is the like side collectible stuff, which I'm not terribly interested in doing. Oh, I can turn this in. Kill enemies in the investigation sector. Oh, you know what? <laughs> We're in the investigation sector. We had this before. I didn't really like take it in. We could have just grabbed something like this and killed enemies in the area uh, that we are in right now. It would have been fine. But all right, I guess we're now actually going to go and do the foundation DLC. Uh, I wish. Yeah, this this was a weird DLC. I, I wish there was less emphasis on just like random papers talking about like Bright Falls and FBC interaction and more like actual like seeing at, like stuff that we see. That That's my biggest complaint about this DLC is that we're told about a bunch of shit that happened rather than being shown a bunch of shit that happened. It's like, oh, well, I don't know. There's so many ways that they could have like had us like see the past see hartman we don't have I mean, we don't have to see hartman transfer but just i just want more <laughs> not just like okay here's a bunch of papers saying shit happened in, in in bright falls and across all these other areas and then like a couple of like things from alan talking i wanted like an actual direct out like interaction with alan between jesse and alan because jesse would be a very powerful ally for helping alan wake i'm sure that if alan wake escapes this whole darkness stuff. He's not going to be interested in like keeping up with the whole paranatural world. But uh, I bet he would love Jesse's like direct help. And obviously us getting like this warning is letting the FBC know what's going on. And from what we heard, uh, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> we're, we're just going to go to executive here real quick. Uh, but from what we, we, we heard from the alarm, the events are happening a couple of years in the future, which should totally be enough time for Jesse to like finish her side questing, like off screen clearing of the hiss inside of the FBC slash old house. So yeah. Hey friend. Methodical. Clean out every last hiss with one thorough sweep room by room. You have anything to Man, say to Alan Wake? I never thought I'd be working in the executive sector. Look at me now, Ma. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. Nothing about Alan. All right. Let's get into the 
foundation DLC, which means I need to go to my mission list and actually select it so I know where the hell I'm going. Uh, all right, the foundation. Jesse receives a distress call from the board about a crisis in the foundation of the oldest house. Okay, we have to go to maintenance. Where are we going in maintenance? The restricted area by Black Rock Quarry. Or we could just teleport to this foundation. <laughs> the foundation DLC says it's happening in there. 